Around the year 1995, a strange anomalous object entered our solar system and continued, undetected, towards our sun. On October 19, 2017, the University of Hawaii's PanStars 1 telescope noticed the visitor. A small streak, appearing in a 45-second long image, was snapped by the telescope. Robert Werrick, a postdoctoral researcher, noticed the streak and identified the same streak in two images from the previous night. The orbit didn't make sense. Three days later, it was clear the object had originated from outside of our solar system and was on a hyperbolic trajectory around the sun, meaning its intentions were to come and go. The strange object was named Umuamua, Hawaiian for scout or messenger. But what was the message? Our first interstellar guest was unlike anything we've seen before, and by the time we realized its presence, the visitor was already on its way out the door. The way it entered our solar system was unique in itself. Its trajectory made a flyby of Earth after passing the Sun on September 9, 2017. Its orbital dynamics allowed it to get a close look at the only habitable planet in our solar system, passing by at 196,000 miles per hour. Very strange. The object was briefly categorized as an asteroid until new measurements found it was accelerating slightly after passing the Sun. For the next few years, Oumuamua had been studied closely over 800 times. The object could be up to one quarter mile long or around 400 meters, with a shape six to ten times longer than it is wide, like a cigar. The captures show that it was very shiny with a varying brightness magnitude factor of 10. It spun on its axis at the fastest every eight hours. No known asteroid or comet from our solar system varies so widely in brightness, with such a large ratio between length and width. The object came from the direction of the star Vega in the Lyra constellation and could have been wandering our Milky Way galaxy for millions of years. Astronomers came up with innumerable theories to describe the odd nature of the object that had snuck past us in plain view. There were two that stood out. The nitrogen theory. Dr. Gregory Laughlin of Yale and University of Chicago's Darrell Seligman proposed Oumuamua to be a primordial hydrogen iceberg that had formed in the dark, cold center of a molecular cloud, a vast cluster of primordial gas that rose the stars. The issue with this idea was that hydrogen freezes at a temperature around 3 degrees Kelvin, or minus 454 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be unlikely to stay frozen for the long trip since creation. Dr. Stephen Desch, an astrophysics professor at ASU, and his colleague Dr. Alan Jackson expounded on this idea, suggesting that the object may be an iceberg of nitrogen instead. This could be possible because nitrogen sublimates around 25 degrees Kelvin, meaning that it was sublimating to a gas, causing it to be trajected around the sun. One of the qualities observed from Oumuamua was that when it passed the sun, it had an acceleration in the opposite direction and lacked a detectable escaping gas, which is usually depicted visibly by a comet's tail. The Desch and Jackson theory would solve the invisible propellant mystery, because as the object approached the sun, evaporating nitrogen gas would push the object and be invisible to telescopes. The theory states that because astronomers know of nitrogen ice existing in the solar system on Pluto, it's reasonable that Oumuamua could be a chunk of nitrogen ice hailing from an exo-Pluto-like planet outside of our solar system. The theory also proclaims Oumuamua to have a reddish color almost exact to the redness of ice on Pluto and compares its shiny surface to that of Pluto and Neptune's moon Triton, which are both covered in nitrogen ice. The object's reasoning for entering our solar system is that it had been knocked off the surface of an exo-Pluto-like planet due to some sort of impact that took place billions of years ago. It likely was not flat in the beginning, losing majority of its mass during its close encounter with the Sun. In many ways, Oumuamua is similar to a comet and could very well be nitrogen ice, but it is mysterious enough for others to form doubt in Desch and Jackson's theory. The Foreigner Theory. On November 5th, 2021, Astrophysicists Amir Siraj and Avi Loeb from Harvard University offered an official counter-argument to the nitrogen iceberg idea from Desch and Jackson. In their paper, they concluded that the theory is flawed because there simply isn't enough nitrogen in the universe to make an object like Oumuamua. Pure nitrogen is rare and has only been found on Pluto, where it makes up only 0.5% of the total mass. 
If all the nitrogen ice in the universe was scraped from every Pluto-like planet predicted to exist, there would still not be enough to make such objects. The main argumentative point, made by Loeb in one paper, was that regardless of Umwamwa's composition or true nature, its existence and detection would imply an extreme population of similar objects in the galaxy. If Umwamwa was, in fact, made of nitrogen ice, then there would need to be between a trillion and a quadrillion similar floating objects in the deep dark space created from each individual star. It was also proposed in another argument that the unusual character and behavior correlated well with that of a solar sail. Its highly reflective outer appearance, its flat shape, and its sudden deviation from expected orbit patterns could have been from the result of radiation pressure, which is how solar sails achieve propulsion. The extra push that was observed after Oumuamua passed the sun has only radiation as a possibility if outgassing is ruled out. In order for this to be effective, the object would have to resemble the thin sail from Mikaros, a Japanese experimental spacecraft launched in 2010. But who made the sail? Loeb offers the idea that we could have possibly discovered an extraterrestrial message in a bottle following the failed searches of foreign civilizations. Strange facts. Besides the contrasting theories developed over the years, since Oumuamua's discovery in 2017, there were other ambiguous ideas surrounding the distant visitor. One of those being the nature of a comet, how such a large rock could break free from the gravity of a star to leave its own planetary system. Comets circle around a star in a highly elliptical orbit. When they are the furthest from the star, they have the most strength against the star's gravity. At this position, the rock could be kicked in a direction away from the star removing it from its orbit and propelling it into deep space. If Oumuamua was a comet or anything similar, it would need a high-velocity kick of some sort, which is unlikely especially since Oumuamua's presence would be proof of many other rocks that had been kicked as well. Furthermore, the NASA Spitzer Space Telescope, optimized to observe objects in infrared light, detected no heat from the visitor. With this result, astronomers were able to place limits on the size, making things even more unusual. Based on the small size, Oumuamua must be extremely shiny, perhaps ten times more reflective than comets native to our solar system. On December 13, 2018, the second ever interstellar object discovered was spotted. The unknown object was named Borisov. It had been much easier for astronomers to categorize this interstellar interloper as a comet, even though it had compact pebbles that were unusually large for a comet. It was very odd that the first two interstellar objects show up within a year of each other. This phenomenon could be due to many things. Maybe they were the first, or maybe they were not. There had been a blind spot in our observations of space before telescopes, a time when many civilizations knew little of the stars. The fact that we had let a strange object get close to our sun and home, then dart away before we were attentive to its presence, shows that we are not verily prepared for the onset of future impacts or foreign visitors. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, expected in the next few years, will allow better detection of unknown objects travelling in the cold, dark, empty space. As of now, Oumuamua heads toward the constellation Pegasus, but it would take thousands of years for it to leave our solar system. The development of new technology for efficient space travel could allow us to catch up to the strange traveller and see if any messages were left unread. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and comment videos you want to see and subscribe to keep the story alive.